this story is about hemp. Not the drug marijuana, but the variety of cannabis that is only grown for fibre and seed. We will look at prefixes that mean not and some forms of the word pollen. Industrial hemp is a cannabis variety that is used for the manufacture of commodities that we use in everyday life. The big one of course is clothing and the clothing is manufactured from the bark of the plant itself. In the whole family of uh, cannabis plants globally there are some hundreds of varieties and the varieties that are chosen for industrial hemp have no mind altering components in them at all. The illegal variety has a tetrahydrocannabinol in it and these plants don't have that. This sort of cannabis is legal. Listen for the word that means the opposite of legal. The illegal variety has a tetrahydrocannabinol in it and these plants don't have that. Illegal. The prefix ill is used to mean not. Illegal means that something is not legal. It's against the law. Other words that use the ill prefix to mean not all start with the letter L. Logical. Illogical. Literate. Illiterate. Legitimate. Illegitimate. Legible. Illegible. Licit. Illicit. But not all words that start with L take the ill prefix to form an opposite meaning. Listen. Well, the number of products that can be made from industrial hemp are virtually unlimited. If you read the book on hemp, they claim that there's 32,000 commodities that you can make. Unlimited. It means without limit. Un is the most common prefix used like this. Now listen out for another prefix that means not. This is the, the best fibre, this is the bark, on an immature plant. Immature. It means not mature or young. Some of the words with this im prefix are immoral, immobile and impatient. So what do the mature plants do? They give off a lot of pollen. So when it's windy, on a windy day, you will see pollen just flowing like clouds through the crop, and that is pollinating the females. Now the female, it becomes pollinated and begins to bush up. And as, as the female becomes pollinated, the male plant just wilts away and dies. The female then fills out and becomes very bushy. And as she becomes pollinated, the little seeds are formed, and you can see one there. The mature male plants give off or release pollen into the air. Listen. They give off a lot of pollen. Let's look at the word pollen. Pollen is a yellow dust plants produce. So when it's windy, on a windy day, you will see pollen just flowing like clouds through the crop. The verb is pollinate here used in its ing form, pollinating. You will see pollen just flowing like clouds through the crop, and that is pollinating the females. In the next clip, pollinated is used as an adjective. Now the female, it becomes pollinated and begins to bush up. And as, as the female becomes pollinated, the male plant just wilts away and dies. So we've looked at three prefixes that create opposite meanings. Legal, illegal, limited, unlimited, and mature, immature. Pollen is the noun and pollinate is the verb. We'll finish with the farmer who says he's got it all sorted out or solved. My main area has been in growing varieties and, and evaluating varieties and developing cultural management techniques and this I've been doing since 1995 and we've pretty well got it all sorted out. Mm -hmm.